and three, two, one, boom. And we're back with another episode of Scratch Gamers. This episode is sponsored by Zenro Clothing Co. Pick up your tees and or accessories or just check out the free playlist on ZenroClothingCo.com. Uh, uh, check out, make sure to use SG Podcast for 20% off select items. Okay, so it's crazy time. It's crazy time. Mm-hmm. Yesterday was uh, some intense rioting that happened and like protesting and um, all amidst the whole COVID pandemic thing. It's, it's weird, you know, cause it's like you build up, you build up one problem and then this other problem shows its, shows its head and it's like, okay, we're just compiling or compounding all of these issues and I know we said it before that like things are going to change post COVID, but like now with this on top and then the recession on top, it's like, what kind of world are we looking at coming out of this? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Do, do, do you feel, um, do you feel like, do you feel like things are spiraling? That That's kind of the, one of the feelings that I was getting last night. I was, as I was watching like the footage, I was like, Oh man, this is getting out of control, you know. I mean, this is not ha- this has happened before, right? D- totally. So okay, okay. So that that's the thing. So I've been hearing that exact statement, and it's like, yeah, like I mean, like the Rodney King thing and like the Trayvon Martin thing, you know, like riots have have happened, but like, really to this uh, scale. I- you know, like with, with the burnings, and I was like, "Oh man, this is super intense." You know. Yeah, yeah, there was this sort of stuff that did happen. Yeah. Oh really? Okay. Yeah. So like maybe it's just because it's being like televised it's the more. Same, it's the same reaction. No, it's the same reaction, right? Uh, they were angry then; they're angry now. It's it's, and it it feels they feel very desperate into trying to get attention, right? In you know, about the. Uh, um the problem right right like racial and, inequality yeah so sometimes you feel like they're not listening when you're doing it peacefully sometimes it may instigate into something else that would you know to to get the world to hear right totally totally and um before we before we continue on this i'd like to preface it by saying uh one we don't actually have any skin in the game for this because we're not of that race like i'm filipino you're indian um but racism Mm -hmm. racism uh and two it's this is like more of a peering in on american systems because i was watching this chaos uh interview uh this morning actually and then it was weird because like the interview interviewer george trombolopoulos he's like oh did you ever experience racism in canada and he's like no I, w- I wouldn't say so like growing up it was it was more like i experienced white privilege but i didn't experience like actual racism and i was like oh that's true oh he grew up in whippy too which is insane which is like a couple accents oh. off where we i know i had no idea <laughs> but he's like super famous like so he was saying like yeah he used to play he used to play like uh, this uh, street hockey, right? You know, he used to play like street basketball, so he's playing street hockey. And then they're all saying, like, you know, like play street hockey also. Yeah, you did. Yeah, you you did. Yeah, I I did not. <laughs> but like, <laughs> so he was like, he was like, oh, you know, they're all calling out their names, like, oh, I'm Wayne Gretzky, oh, I'm like this guy. Yeah, yeah. And then and then they're like, he he would say it, and they're like, no, I forgot who the guy was, but he's like, no, you're this guy. And then he's like, well, why do I have to be that guy? So he goes home and he like checks it out, and that's the only black hockey player. Right. So and so like the next day he was like, "Oh, I'm that guy." And they're like, "Yeah, you are that guy." You know what I mean? So it's like it's not okay. really like racism. He's he would say it's more like like mis- No, it wasn't. Under- no, it's it's, not, it's not, not like racist. It's just like um that's like, you know, like not not ignorance, but I guess it would be ignorance. It's but- a bit of it's a bit of that. Yeah, but it's just like um you're representing that kind of thing without Oh, it's not like overt racism. Right? Yeah, totally, totally, totally yeah. yeah. So they, they, that's what he was saying. It's like it's not like not like America, but it's interesting because I was thinking about the history of this whole thing, and it's like Canada is a mosaic, right? And like America is very much a melting pot, and like they had slavery there the whole time. 
so like not the whole time but like for a very long period of time and like you know the slaves would escape to canada so Mm -hmm. so like from like when when you we see this whole because it's like social media like america is basically the social media capital of the world right so like when we see all this media and this like social media and these posts about like what's going on it kind of like yeah it does it does happen in other countries but like not to the insane extent that it happens there you know what i'm saying right and i Mm -hmm. yeah i think that's important to note because like it's 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 a pressing issue it's an important issue but it is again like locally isolated primarily in america you know yeah 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 i mean they've been going through this from a long time like with with Martin Luther and like from then, right? Yeah, yeah. So like all, all those all those movements that we hear about, like Martin Luther King, um, uh, like the Rodney King thing, and it's like, but those were all localized in America, you know. But like yeah. Yeah. Mer- America, like manages media, so you know, mm-hmm. don't don't let that jade your perception. But also like don't don't think it's don't lower its value. But at the same time, realize like what's going on. You know? Yeah, I wonder. Like, I mean, I would like to look into the history. Like, when, like Britain and stuff, they did have slaves before, but they eventually Let went out. Yeah, totally. Yeah, yeah. The same way in Canada, because I mean, they were we were like um, a connection with um, a Commonwealth or whatever it was with Britain, mm-hmm. and America was the only one separate that was that had it for a much more longer time than other nations, right? Totally. Yeah. And, yeah. So it's more like very young for them and what's happening and, you know. Yeah, yeah totally, totally. I, 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 you're, you're completely right. And um, it's, it's interesting to think too that, because you're talking about like different places and mm. like you don't want to sound tone deaf to the issue, but you also don't want to look tone deaf in promoting the issue. You know what I mean? So like, it's like in Canada, like, I, I know a couple of people who like put like their profile photo like I can't breathe, but I'm like, but we're Canadian though, <laughs> you know? Like, what yeah, Canadian I, I, has done yeah. that, bro? Like, like if if what happened there happened here, it would be a totally different story. Like Trudeau would jump on like, what are we doing as a society? You know what I mean? Like, I'm mm-hmm. sure th- I'm sure there's some level of it, but like, yeah, of course, I think there is a level of it, but it's not. I don't believe it to be the that in as in extensive as in america yeah totally totally yeah but it it's funny because like even so like just just speaking about like um so like if, if you look at like what racism is it's like it's like a class system right it's like an in-group out group like you're you're not with us you're not a part of this mm-hmm. class etc cetera, etc cetera. but if you look at within like one race itself that one race has racism within its own race right like indians have class systems you know yeah but well, technically it's a class system versus a, it's not a race system right no no it's totally like, no no right, right but but if you look if you boil it down yeah. to like the the baser point of what it what's going on is it's like it's like in group out group systems you know in general yeah. Yeah. In, in a general sense, like no, of course, like racism is different. It's like it's race based, but this is mm-hmm. like classist. You know, it's like yeah. there, there's still that idea of separation. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And like, I think I think that's also another important thing. It's like, yeah, we look at we look at that because they're the most like vocal, right? But like. Do we see the um, the untouchables in the Indian caste system making yeah. noise? You know, not really, or not at all, mm-hmm. because they don't have cell phones or whatever. You know, because they're like the poor people. You know. Yeah. I, oh, it depends on what. It's very different. I don't know. It's it's, and it's also a very complex topic too within India. Oh, there like are, so. Because as a in a government system it doesn't work like there there is no class system but as a societal structure or s- societal thinking there is uh, many people that still think like that oh okay okay i see what you're saying so it's like 
it's it's like a it's not a legal thing. Yeah. But it's like a social norm thing. Yeah. But but all right, wait. But taking that into account, that's also the exact same thing that's going on right now. Because like, it's not illegal yeah. to be like African in America, but still socially, look what's going on. Yeah. You know, so it still applies. Is what I'm saying. Yeah. We we always have like we always have these. I don't know, like these these chimp like tendencies of you know well in somewhat in 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 we technically are right i mean chimps right yeah totally totally that chimp mindset but we're the cousins of that so we're one of those we have some of those traits i guess yeah for sure for sure it, it's funny like if I mean, you... we have a boat we have two traits right i think we talked about that before like it's not just chimps but there's also the bonobos right Oh, yeah, go into that, explain. So bonobos are very much uh, a collectivist society, and it's a very sharing type of society. So we have that, too, in humans, right? Oh, that's so <laughs> funny. Because if you, if you look at, like, like East and West, right, like, they say yeah. Eastern culture is very collectivist, and then Western culture is very individualistic. So it's like mm-hmm. chimp and bonobo. Yeah, yeah. But even, even within the uh, the West, there is collective, right? No, totally. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Within groups, right? So that, that's what I mean. Like we have uh, we have those traits of both um, in us. Mm, in a way. Yeah, totally, totally. And, uh, I don't know like how it works, like which becomes more popular within the person, right? Like or more powerful within the person. Which one is it? Some people through, you know, experiencing or learning from it, then they can understand other people's pains right and try to help people in that way from that oh right so it's like it's like your level of empathy yeah yeah interesting yeah i think that's one thing we forget that like we evolved from nature so like to look at these to look at these Mm -hmm. things now it's like it seems bewildering and wild but at the same time it's like a part of our innate tendencies you know yeah but what what do you think what do you think that is you know like like what separates i've seen it before it's like fear you know people are like oh um the reason why well actually it was it was in this book um this -hmm. book that i just read um what's what was it called this the spook who sat by the door so basically the the book is about the first African-American CIA agent and like he left and then like he was working in the city and stuff. And then like, um, so this is 1969. So he was working in the city and then he was experiencing racism both in the CIA and then in the city. And then even within gangs, there was racism. And then like, um, a kid got shot and then there was all these crazy riots, you know, that happened. And like, basically it just, it just kind of like cataloged that, that kind of um, injustice, mm-hmm. you know, and like what they said is uh, they hate you because they fear you, you know, and it, it got me. Thinking, yeah. It's like, but it's like, well, what are you what are you afraid of? You know? Um, well, it's it's the media that it's the media. The media actually, the, the, yeah. the fear. And I mean, the media is not doing that in um, uh, like uh um what's the word like like they're not trying to make you uh like feel fear but like when you tell the news of the bad stuff that's happening you get that kind of fear right totally totally yeah so uh in a way it affects society into thinking a certain way if they keep getting hearing that same kind of news then you think uh, yeah for sure like it's all these types of people that are causing crime or all these types of people you know um creating problems and that builds fear within you and thinking anybody that looks like that is always going to be like that right true i i totally agree with you because because like media is ultimately the the or marketing let's say marketing so like mm-hmm. it it's it's the collective brainwashing essentially right because like what is yeah so what what is marketing at its core right it's like it's about me being able to influence you to do a certain thing right Mm -hmm. that that's like Mm -hmm. the whole premise of marketing and like if you have mass marketing it's programming an entire like landscape of people 
into a certain mindset. And if you don't have like ethical marketing, then you are just playing with fire that, you know, could yeah. explode. Like right, for, for, right. for example, remember that argument we were having over, um, not argument, well, it wasn't between me and you, but like me and Wob, but like we like in WhatsApp, I was like, dude, do you see that craziness? Like that the black reporter on CNN got like arrested. And then he was yeah. like, no, nah, it's fake news. I'm like, what are you talking? I just saw it on CNN, right? Because they kept playing that scene. And then you, as like the perfect mediator, you came in and you Googled it and you're like, you're like, actually, they all got arrested. And I'm like, what? Like they didn't play that though. You know, Mm. they just kept playing that one scene. And like, even my parents, like, because we were watching it. And then my mom was like, oh, how disgusting that they would only like, um, they would only arrest the black reporter. And then, and then it's like, no, they actually arrested everyone, but they just didn't show you arresting everyone. You know, that that's that marketing. That's that portrayal of like media, you know, like which way are we going to spin it to incite more injustices, you know? Right. Yeah. I mean, yeah, not, not a lot of people. I mean, people tend to just believe what the media is saying because they think what they're saying is right, right? Like, they're they're giving the proper story. Um, that's why, I don't know, I've, I've always felt like, it doesn't sound right, let me, because they were filming it, that's kind of weird, right? So Yeah, it was, it was weird. It, that's what I thought too. I was that's like... I have to look into it to, like, right. to confirm what was exactly happening. And then did when did you see the footage or did you see the footage or did you just watch the, did you read it? Like, how did... I did no, 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 I did see the footage. Okay. And then I was like, okay, that... I can see why they're saying that, but then I needed to get, like, why did they arrest him? So when you look into that, then it's, I couldn't find why, but they, what I did find was, like, it wasn't just him, but it was his crew as well. So, like, when the crew is going, who is his camera crew, it's like, they can't really film when they're Right, the right, right. They would have just stopped filming. So that totally makes sense. Well, first of all, that's already messed up, that, because you can't, I don't think you can arrest a reporter. So, I uh, yeah, again, I don't, like, in this sort of thing... Um, uh, there could be a lot of mis um, um, communication happening um, when there are riots and happening. They don't like what technically happens is they're trying to cordon off an area, right? And if um, like the reporters are, are not supposed to be there, they need to be in a different location. Um, I guess something like that might have been a miscommunication where they had to. Uh, get them out of the area right in right, a way, right right i see what you're saying they weren't moving so they arrested them in that sense um it was wrong i mean the mayor did apologize or uh for whatever that uh, the, the situation but we don't know the whole exact story what happened and why did they did that because they were standing there for a little while before they did that right yeah which is weird it was like or, or maybe yeah, they were waiting for some orders of what to do because uh, either they were in an area that they were supposed to clear out that no one should be there. Actually, you know, you know, that actually makes that actually what you just said makes total sense. Like, let, let's say mm-hmm. there's like a hostage situation. Okay, like this is not this is not what happened. But like, let's say yeah. if the police were like, like, like sectioning off a, a hostage situation, mm-hmm. and then the reporter yeah. went into that zone, and they're like, No, we need you to leave because we're trying to like, secure the area, right? Yeah. yeah. If the reporter doesn't leave, of course, you're gonna arrest them not not for like, because they're tampering now, you know? Right, yeah. So it's like so we don't know the exact true, situation. True, true, true. That right. makes sense. I mean, these are potentials that I'm thinking of, but again, I don't know. Um, but there, like, it wasn't like right away they arrested him. He, they were in front of the camera. They were like waiting for some order. I think. True, what true. Yeah, they they're talking. Yeah, yeah, totally. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's weird. You, you know, it's weird too. How like a lot of this stuff is like localized to specific areas. You know. Mm-hmm. Like I was watching Just Mercy, uh, how, like how we got like halfway through, and um, in it, it's like they were in Alabama, you know, yeah, and it was like it, the racism there was just so, and it was I thought I was like okay when was this like because it's a true story so when did this take place yeah. and it was like ninety two mm-hmm. nineteen ninety two and I was like what the yeah. hell like that's pretty recent you know, and like yeah like uh, to say that like. A lot of southern states were very um, late to the they game. Still have that, <laughs> they still have that kind of thinking. It's still there. Right. Um, right they right. were the one of the, like the later uh, states to like um, abolish slavery. Yeah. See that. See, but that, that's what I mean. So it's like when you when you look at it from that perspective, it's like how many generations does it take to forget? 
you know, because that's essentially what you're doing. It's like, even if it becomes, yeah. so like, let's say it was, it was legal. Like, let's say you're old enough where it was legal and then it became illegal. Yeah. You know, how many generations before that's normalized, you know, like mm -hmm. for, for example, like, like marijuana, right? So like here it's, it's like still weird when you see people smoking it out in public. Yeah. That's because we came from a different generation, you know, we're like, oh, it was super illegal, you know? <laughs> So mm -hmm. like to see it now, just people like freely going around, it's it's very odd. And I'm like, but also at the same time, like, you know, two generations later, they won't even know the difference. They're like, they're just doing it, you know? Yeah, yeah. And that's, yeah. Mm -hmm. No, no, no. I, I think it will. It takes, you know, time, generations sometimes to, um, or education too, in some ways. If, like to build an empathy or to understand each other. Sometimes it's 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 about like you really think they're different from you, right? Totally, yeah, yeah, I, I agree, yeah. In many ways, they're not. It's you know. But but um, in terms of yeah. education, it's like how many how much resources will that take? See, see, I, I know, yeah. I, yeah. I, I like yeah. to look at I like to look at um, especially after reading that book, uh, *Sapiens*. Um, mm -hmm. They basically. In that book, they look at humans from an anthropological perspective. They're not like, he's not a yeah. human writing about humans. He's like a scientist writing about humans, right? Right. And yeah. after, after like, after reading that book, I was like, oh, we're, we're just an animal, a herd species, you know? Yeah. And like, because of that, it's like, no matter what idealistic viewpoint I may have or other people may have, you have to look at it like mm -hmm. an aggregate species that you're trying to herd in a specific direction, you know? Right. So it's like, it's like, yeah, it's idealistic to say like, let's educate them. But like the more realistic approach is just wait for them to die. Mm -hmm. Right. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, well, yeah, yeah. Because even if you educate but that, them, that, that, that's, that's a long time, right? Like, no, totally. Like, but, but time, yeah. but again, if you look at it through no, anthropologically, it. like time is not yeah. an issue, you yeah. know, yeah. it's just, we're in it right now. So we're like complaining about it, but it's like, you, you literally can't change anyone's opinion. And, and like, I was, I was on this. Right. Yeah. I mean, there's not, there's nothing wrong with complaining about it too, because they're, you know, like, no, no, but you need to complain. No, no. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Yeah. Like, like, it's always going to be a battle between, like, opinions, you know? Mm -hmm. So, like, mm -hmm. so, like, the people that are racist are like, no, this is totally fine. And then the people that are, are trying to abolish racism, they're like, no, this is incorrect. So you're, you're like, watching two, you know, energies fight each other, you know? Right. And it's like, yeah. you just pick which side you want to be on, and then you live your life accordingly in that way, you know? Mm -hmm. But like to say one side is incorrect over the other is just as as um, segregating as the initial problem. Do you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? So it's like yeah. like you telling me that it's wrong is just as bad as me telling you that it's that you're wrong. You know? Yeah. So all that's why I'm saying like all you can do is just like watch the waves fight against each other and like choose a side and then like just live your life accordingly. You know. Mm -hmm. yeah especially like going into like the whole yoga martial arts sphere and like believing that that was a way to change people and then realizing like no all of the students you know as i'm like taught multiple students over the years and like there's the ones who are going to listen are going to listen the ones who are not going to listen are not going to listen you know yeah so it's like yeah. all you can really do is just like put out that information out there and it's like if you're going to read it you were predestined to read it right mm-hmm because you and I both believe in determinism too, so it's like yeah, yeah. yeah. You were gonna say there, there was a movie I watched. Um, I think it was tr I believe it was a true story. Uh, this member was part of the um, the leader of the KKK, I believe. Yeah, and are you talking about Black Klansman, bro? No, no, no. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It, it, it's uh, no, no, but like he was the leader of the KKK that ended up changing his mind. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. Through, uh, like, learning about actually they're not different from you. Oh, dude, no, yeah. I heard about this. I forgot the name of the movie, but it was, it's, I think it's an, an older movie. No, but... I, th I think it's a true story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I heard about this. Maybe I heard about it from you. <laughs> but, <laughs> so, yeah, continue, continue, yeah. No, it was, 
because they were uh, they uh, they were dealing with the same issues um, without realizing it, right? Um, which was like family stuff, which was like that. I mean, that was a lot of these people that are in their own um, uh, uh, clans or groups or whatever. It's everyone just it really cares about like raising the family, raising their kids properly, like things like that kind of stuff. Yeah, totally. And if you can find, and that's where he found, I guess, um, he ended up understanding who he used to hate. He understood where they were coming from and what they also cared about was the same thing that he cared about, which was family. Mm, True, yeah, yeah, that makes sense, yeah. So, which ended up him, um, like, really changing his mind and uh, about the... The whole racism um, thing? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the main, yeah, totally. It's like, um, okay, so, okay, totally. I, I agree with you. So that's why it's important to travel, right? Because, like, when you travel, mm. you see, like, other people live in different ways, and you're like, oh, my box is very limited. So, like, all right, we'll, we'll take it as, like, Port Union, for example. So Port Union is a very, like, small village feel. You know, it's like a very yeah. small town. You can live and die in Port Union. Like, you have TSCs there. Um you know, high schools are there, elementary schools are there. There's no mm-hmm. hospital. It's the only thing, but there's like a walk-in clinic, dentistry. Like you can literally live and die in Port Union. You know, especially that metro. Not knocking those people, but you know, there are certain people that just live and die there. Right. But yeah. But if they do that, then you're gonna be locked into a specific mentality. Right. Mm-hmm. So like speaking of education and like this person, this example that you brought up of like he met the other side and like he realized that we're into the same things. That's again, it's like it's privileged to have that kind of education, you know, yeah. like because like if you if you live and die in one area, you will forever only have that viewpoint. And I think that's like that's what we're talking about with you know, how come Southern states are like that? It's because people probably just lived and died there and like they didn't expand beyond their borders. So like they're probably living in a still old mentality. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It's, and, and that's why it's like, for me, I can't throw a judgment call on it because like if, if I were to go there and like, you need to educate yourself, like, dude, I can't even pay my rent. I'm like barely scraping by. What do you mean? Like, and this is how I've always been doing it. You're telling me that my entire life's been wrong. Like nobody likes to hear that, you know? Right. And like that, that when you realize that, like all, again, going back to it, you, all you can do is observe it and just watch like the tides fight each other, you know? Mm -hmm. And I don't think we can ever escape this problem, you know? Unless the entire world becomes, like, rich and educated, you know? Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I found the movie. It's called Best of Enemies. Oh, cool. Okay, Best of Enemies, if you want to check that out. Is it uh, YouTubeable? Uh, it's on Prime. Oh, video. okay, cool, cool. Yeah. yeah. It came out last year, 2019. Actually, not an old movie. <laughs> oh, really? Okay, cool. Yeah, because I'm like, I swear I heard of this. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. It took place in. It was in 1971. Okay, there you go. Oh, it was it a southern state? Uh, North Carolina. I don't know if that's southern. Uh, <laughs> no, but I know there's races in there. Yeah. Yeah. I'm. So, I have family yeah. there. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, yeah. So he was like one of the one of the top leaders in the KKK. That um, he became like it comes down to like where. It was two communities, which was mainly the black and the white. And they were, it was about uh, the black, uh, the school where the black kids used to go. They, that school was um, uh, like caught fire or something. So they needed to put them in a white school. Okay. So that was where the, where um, the um, community, um, like voting happened uh or like should they bring them into that school or not right and that's when he was one of those uh one of the leaders uh um in those discussions mm-hmm. which um like if they should put them uh, in or not yeah him he was there and the um 
uh, civil rights activist, uh, black civil rights activist was there. Uh, she and him were uh, leading the um, the uh, the vote on that. Okay. And so I don't want to ruin the movie, but uh, basically, it through that experience is what changed him. So, what happened in there? Like close close contact. Yeah. So you yeah in that way he got to learn about um, the other people that he you know, was not hanging out with, right? So. He, you know what's interesting? We we do, so, okay, yes, close contact. We do a very similar thing in Canada, you know, where they're like, okay, go work in a home. Like, we have um, community service hours, mm-hmm. you know, where you have to, like, help out something in order, like, for a certain allotted amount of hours in order to graduate high school, you know? Right, yeah. And, like, some people will choose, you know, like, I'm going to help out a food bank or whatever, or like, a homeless shelter. <laughs> and in doing that, you get to see, you get to meet people and be like, oh, you're not so different from you and I. Right. You know? Mm-hmm. But But again, it's like, what is your system set up like? Well, all right. So, so one one thing that also troubled me, and maybe you can like get into this because you follow the political sphere. But I was really hopeful for either Bernie Sanders or Andrew Yang to change the entire landscape of America. But now we have like <clears throat> uh, Joe Biden and uh, Trump, right? Those are yeah. the two going going head to head. And um, <laughs> so, <clears throat> wasn't there like some controversy recently, like? Joe Biden on Charlemagne the God's podcast or like yeah. a radio show. And like, he said something that was like racist or whatever, but he didn't mean yes. for it to be racist. He was like, Oh, I, I meant, uh, uh, I, I saw that on CNN. It was like, I, mm. I didn't mean all black people. I was talking about Charlemagne. And I was like, okay. <laughs> like, so you got two races going after political office was going on, you know? Uh, yeah. Uh, it was not uh, a good phrase that he said. It, it uh, I, I, I think he was trying to make a joke, but it was not well received. Yeah, it was. It was weird because, like, I watched a little bit of that because um, Charlotte. Char- uh-huh. Yeah, it was a bit ill-informed from him to say that kind of thing. Totally, totally. So, so I was watching that with because um, Charlemagne posted it on his his IG, and I yeah. was like, I was like. Oh, he's trying to be colloquial like Trump. Did you, did you know, right? Right? He's he's like trying to of use course, that tactic. Course. He's like, okay, well, yeah. it worked for Trump. Let me let me try it too. But it was like you're too laid back, bro. You know, you're gonna let yeah. things slip. You, it's it's not like Trump. Like Trump can let things slip and then be like, whatever. You know, but you're you're not built like that. You're you're a li- legit politician. Yeah. You know, and there's a lot of baggage that comes with. With even with Biden, you can easily look up his what he said before in Congress and things like that. So, which does not bode well for him. Oh, like like what do you mean? Like racist stuff? Uh, yeah, like not overt. Once again, it's like uh, it's like it, in prison and 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 things like that. It it, versus... it has like a little a touch of racism at the end of it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I get what you're saying. Actually, even the way even the way he was saying this, he's like, "Oh, black people love me." I was like, "That's a weird thing for you to say right <laughs> yeah, now." You know, like, yeah. why are you saying that, bro? Exactly, exactly. Like that that are, that why... already is racist. <laughs> it's like you try not to be racist, but there's like a little bit of an accent of racism there, you know? Yeah, by yeah, it's, it's... that would be like him being like, "Like, I love Mexicans. I hire them to clean my house." You know? You're like, "What the fuck, <laughs> bro?" <laughs> you know, that's that's literally yeah. the equivalent. You know, it's like, yeah, I'm not trying to be racist, but I'm I'm racist. Yeah, yeah, that's that's the problem. Uh, he's also very, you know, he's been he's like one of the older ones too, right? So he's totally, yeah. I don't know how so much that's like in his like, how did he grow up and things like that? What was that, his thinking? That, that's exactly that's exactly our point. You know, it's like it's like it's. It's, it's in you through generations. Mm -hmm. So that's why I'm saying it's like, you just got to wait for that generation to die off. You know, you can't change it at this point. You just got to accept it for what it is. Right. You know, it's like, it's like a belligerent grandpa, you know, you're just like, ah, it's a different time. 
Right. Yeah. Exactly that. Yeah. You know, you can't be like, you can't be like, Grandpa, you can't say that now. You're like, he'll be like, I'll say whatever I want. I'm about to die. You know. And you're like, okay, true. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> you know, that, that mentality will die off with you, and that's it. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. it's it's weird because like because of all of the years of like slavery and like racism, it's you have this crazy powder keg that's ready to explode. All mm-hmm. like it reminded me of World War uh, World War One, you know, like because like I don't know the full details, but I remember like in history class they were talking about how uh, when Francis for France Franz Ferdinand is that his name Franz Ferdinand he got shot and then that set off World War One. But you're like you're like how did one person getting shot set off World War One? It's like no, but it's a powder keg. Everything was hinging, you know, like it was about to explode, mm-hmm. you know. And I think like if you look at what happened yesterday it almost comes as no shock you know because yeah there's yeah. there's a powder keg waiting to explode the entire time but i really believe that like shit's gonna change from this you know i've, I've heard it before too like you know this has happened i don't know i mean all i can say is i hope so but it's if you look at the past um like iterations of this it's like we did this like everything happened the same thing again protests and riots and such but nothing changed and um well we hope it changes at this time but i don't know right true yeah and if it doesn't change this time it's like generations it's man. Keep, yeah it's 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 gonna boil up more again right when it happens again it will be even bigger right Totally, yeah. Do you, so, do you think do you think there's a chance of like like okay, so like I don't know um, the change of what what also was what is the change we're looking for. There was something I'm not sure if this happened before, but there was a difference in well this the cop that did the thing in Minneapolis was arrested, right? Yeah. Yeah. So I don't I believe that's a difference, but they want a systemic or uh, systematic change, right? And, like, and like there was other things about how, um, like they started wearing body cams. Mm-hmm. Like that's another implementation that they they put after I think like Trayvon Martin or something. Like what? Right. Like, like, well, Trayvon Martin was not from a cop, right? So. Oh really? Oh okay. Wow, getting my thing mixed up. But so there were other yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, but so there there was there was change that happened like technological change you know we started like making these people more accountable and stuff like that but the the one i'm like getting at is 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 there any way to remove a president without being impeached like is there you know like you know in like um succession there was a vote of no confidence yeah you know is that a possibility or like it's never been done before obviously but you know there may be something in there but it has to be like the both the House and Senate have to agree or something like that. It's not like it's not yeah, yeah it's it's not like a petition or something. Yeah. Yeah, totally. No. <laughs> I guess the petition would be voting. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Technically, but, yeah. Yeah. But like but like from that from that perspective, it's it's hard to watch it's hard to watch like like Trump as leader presenting like certain things in a non like not it's just not what we're used to you know like when he tweeted that thing like if you loot they shoot or something like that yeah and it's like ugh, can't really can't really be saying that but like you know what what president has used twitter as their primary platform before you know yeah exactly yeah. he's yeah <laughs> He does say a lot of stuff on Twitter, but yeah. And and it makes you think it's like, is there a divide in America, you know? Because like him getting, I, I know like him getting into office, there was like some shadiness that happened, right? Like closing votes early or like swinging people, you know, through social media and et cetera, et cetera. Yeah, but I don't know if that's technically shady in my opinion. Oh, no, right, right, right. Totally. It's marketing. It's, it's your, your like... Um, you're coloring in and just a little outside the line, but not yeah. enough to be like you ruined this picture. You know, it's not yeah. like, 
it's not like so, yeah I, I get what you're saying but also at the same time so does that does it show you a divide you know in in America uh like is there other people totally for him and then people who are like completely against him you know so obviously there is a divide but it's like what does that mean is that like but almost yeah there's almost civil war leader, but almost with any leader there's always people for him and people not for them right no right right but but like but this polarizing what i'm wondering is like civil war you know because they had it before right wasn't it like north and south they like fought each other and then the north yeah. won Yes. So it's like, ugh. is that is that history repeating itself? You know. Uh, <laughs> Could we see history repeating itself? You know. At this point, I don't think so. I don't think it's in that level because majority there's always fringes on both sides, but the people that voted for Trump, I think also had voted for Obama before. At least oh, really? Obama. Okay, okay. And it wasn't necessarily about... It was about just having some kind of change because they were not They were fed up with what was going on with the establishment. Right, right, totally. Yeah, yeah I remember that. That was, that was one of the primary reasons why people voted for him, just to, like, yeah. mess, mess stuff up. But, like... Yeah. yeah, yeah. And it's weird because I really thought that this time... Remember Jimmy Dore was saying that um, mm-hmm. because of because of Trump, it's going to be amazing because now we're going to have we're we're going to realize the error of our ways and then we're going to vote for like a Bernie Sanders type of person, and then to see yeah. them all fall off, it's like, oh man, are we just really going to repeat four more years of this? You know? Yeah. Well, what does happen when the thing is, like now we're getting more into politics, but like what does happen now that Trump is there? A lot of things that they do or um, any small thing is highlighted, right? For instance, like anything he did with the war or like attacking or instigating with Iran or dropping bombs in Syria Mm -hmm. that Trump had done, that was very much highlighted in the news media, right? But when Obama was there, who was uh, like part of the establishment, when he was dropping bombs and there was no mention of that. Right, 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 right. So, 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 do you think it's just media is the real problem? I think there is a lot of that, and I it was always there before too. If I remember correctly, even like in twenty sixteen or before, it was people were calling on CNN as fake news. Oh, really? Eh? Yes, and it was it was what Trump just took that and. Um, use it as part of his slogan, but it was there before Trump. Wow, I didn't know that. Do you, do Did you, I remember that? Do you think is I that, that. Mm-hmm. is that why they like trash that place in CNN? Like I was scrolling. Um, I don't know why that happened, but um, some yeah, maybe. Actually, actually, let or sorry, finish that thought, and then I want to get into this other thing. But go, go ahead. What were you going to say? You were going to say something. In about in, it. in a in a lot of ways, actually, the extreme right and the I wouldn't. I don't want to say extreme right or left, but it's more like the people outside of who are fed up with the establishment, and they're both Republicans and Democrats. They agree upon the fake news aspect. Oh, okay. So they they do agree that media is the primary issue. Yeah. Hmm. You know, it it's funny. I I agree with you because there's no there's there's no. Hmm, how do I put this? There's no ethical... There are ethical standards, but there's no, like, set in... There's no legalities around media. There are, all right, there are legalities around media, but there's so much ability to, like, color just outside the lines, you know? Mm -hmm. And that's why I kind of look like... I look at um, the media and marketing as, like, the force, you know, in Star Wars, right? Because both people can utilize the Force, the Sith and the Jedi. Yeah. Right? And, like, in realizing that, it's like, how do you want to wield your energy? Mm-hmm. Right? Because it's just human nature. We, we, 
want to listen to the talking head, right? Most people don't want to figure out things for themselves, so they want to they want it to be given to them, right? You see that with like religion, you see that with like politics, you see that with like businesses, even businesses, right? We're going to hire the CEO cuz they know exactly where to bring us, even if the CEO is right. wrong. Cuz you can like you could see so many CEOs you're like oh, that's a bad mistake, but like but you're the leader. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Right. And, and like I think it's important to realize the impact that you have through media and utilize it however you choose to see fit, you know? And that that's what, like, made it so entertaining for me to study mm-hmm. in school, you know? And, and that's also why, like, I like this podcast and, like, the way I, like, shape social media, my social media, because, like, it's important to, you know to do right with the power you have because that because at the end of the day like the ultimate power is like media you know like how did yes right right like like even to the baser level of like okay let's say let's say jesus right so jesus had Mm -hmm. his followers those followers are his like media outlets right yeah are, are you like are you like walking around no, no, no. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, okay, cool. That was kind of loud, yeah. <laughs> okay, cool, cool. Um, so, like, so like let, let, let's take, like, Jesus, for example, right? So, like, Jesus, if, if, yeah. if media and marketing is just, like, a medium, right? So, it's, like, Jesus wants more followers. How do we get mm-hmm. more followers? His disciples are going to be his media outlets. They're going to be his platform to tell other people, to convert other people, you know? Yeah. And, like... And, like, that is what shapes the rest of our future actions, you know? Then people pick a side, you know? It's like, I'm all right, I'm all for Jesus. We're going to go on these crusades. You know, we're going to kill everyone that's not a believer, you know? Right. So at, at the end of the day, it's like, who's – is is the is the message evil or is the messenger evil? Do you know what I'm saying? Yes. <laughs> right? It's it's like it's interesting to ponder. I guess maybe it's a chicken yeah. and, it's a it's a chicken and the egg situation, right? Like which came first. But like But we don't answer to that. <laughs> is is the chicken? No, it's the egg. Yeah. Fish? Hello? Do, uh, oh, I think it's uh, Oh, I thought I thought I lost you there for a sec. Um, yeah, connected there for a sec. Um, uh, I forgot what the answer to that one was. <laughs> I I would I'm pretty sure it, it's it would have to be the egg because yeah I think you, it's the egg yeah, because you didn't egg. have because chickens because everything yeah, evolves in in embryo. Yes, yes, yes. It's, it's the egg. Yeah, right. It has to be that's, the egg. That's what I thought. Yeah, that's what I thought. Because like it, it's it's like if you. If you have like, all right, so so Blasian, you heard of Blasian, right? Like black and Asian. So like, oh, okay. is is it is is it the Blasian that came first, or is it the parents? And it's like, well, the Blasian didn't become Blasian until it became formed. Mm-hmm. Before it was just so, you know two yeah. separate things. Sorry, I was just di- di- dissecting anyways, that. Yeah, it, it's the egg that came first. So for instance, for the media, it's like who controls the media. Oh, I see, I see. Yeah, true. Who who runs the media, right? So a lot of that, I believe during Bush time, or I don't know, I'm not Actually, sure still, like, you're right. If it, if it was GM that owns the, or running, running the media, but they're the ones who are also building the bombs that, that are dropping in. Right, um, right, 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 right. Or it's like, yeah, they would bring a brighter light about the war, right? Versus something like that. It's like whoever is running the media. Right, 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 right. Uh, yeah, I see your point. Yeah. And what yeah, what kind of story they want to tell, right? Right, to sell something. Because at the end of the day, yeah. that's what it is, right? You have yeah. like... Um, like it, I was listening to this Coke versus Pepsi thing, and like what they did was in order to sell more Coke, they brand, they like gave all of the troops... Cokes, 
and like Coke mm-hmm. machines, you okay. know, but at the end of the day, like, and then, and then it became synonymous with like Coke is American, you know, right. or, or like right. Coke, Coke is for the allies, you know, let's help stop evilness because of Coke, you know, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and it's like, yeah, but at the end of the day it was like, they only fueled the belief of fighting the enemy because the one who owned it was Coke and then they wanted to sell more Cokes. Yeah. Yeah. So then I guess like, Mm -hmm. hmm. so then going back to like the whole Jesus and his disciples thing, then I guess you would say that Jesus is the evil one (laughs) (laughs) because like he's the one who programmed his media outlet people. Yeah. Oh, actually, no, no, that's correct. That, yeah, you're totally right. Because it's like, yeah, who's who's the wielder of the force? If the media is just the force, it depends on the wielder. Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. So, mar- like, marketing and media is not evil. No. It's what you do with it. Yeah. True. Okay, so, um, do you think, like, going back to it, it's like, do you think world peace is achievable? Through like, you know, like, like from what we're seeing, like, do you think there'll ever be, I, I know you said like, you know, time, it's all about time. Right. But like, I just, I don't, I don't know. Because even, I remember when we were learning well, about, you, well, what? I don't, I don't think so. And, in, 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 um, no one's in a level playing field, right? So. You're right. No, yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right. I think. I think world tolerance is achievable, but not world peace. Yeah. Right? Because uh, it reminds me of um, uh, the story of like when I was learning about in group, out group mm-hmm. stuff and like social psychology. They were saying how, yeah. um, like, the, their, their example was in Scotland, there was two factions, right, who hated each other. Mm-hmm. And it's like a bloody, it's like a very comp, I forgot what the, the two, two cultures were, but whatever, they're, they're both like Scottish and they, they hate each, or maybe they're Scott, whatever. Anyways, they lived in the same country and the only thing that separated them was a bridge. Right. And then because yeah. of that, they, they hated each other because they're like, you're on that side of the bridge or like you believe in this God and I don't, you know, but it's like, they're from the same location separated yeah. only by a bridge mm-hmm. you know and if you look at that as like an analogy for human nature it's like how can you ever achieve peace if you'll always look at the smallest thing to separate each other with yeah you know it's, we tend to do that until you know i think the only thing that can really bring us all together is when we realize there's an alien coming to attack us. No, to, see, see, this is why I brought this back up because I thought COVID was that alien, and I was like, okay, we're gonna achieve world peace because COVID, right? And it's like, yeah, we did for a little time, but then what happened? It yeah, blew, but, blew up again, you know? Yeah, because uh, um, we, well, I don't know. If know? It, I don't think I, I don't think it was gonna bring. I didn't think that it was just like in the beginning, people were saying they're going to work together but it's like when you close off borders you're not really working together True, right, right totally 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 but like, like the, even within even within your own so you closed off borders even within your own country there's so much unrest yeah yeah you know so it's like like even if okay i, I think it like like, like it, it's just it's not an alien thing it, it's still an earth thing right it's i'm saying like a full-on alien invasion destroyer yeah <laughs> Well, but well, you, but you never know because then there are going to be people like yeah we should kill the human race we're evil species you know and you're like okay there could, that, there could be that too there could be that too I mean there's already people think like that right now right actually even if you look at the Matrix right like when he left um, Cipher when he left the Matrix and then he was mm-hmm. like I want to go back you know yeah. but they're like no but we want freedom like it's all about human freedom and he's like no I want to be with these freaking technological cyborgs to give me illusions you know what i mean like you'll you'll always have like defactors yeah you know yeah Yeah. so i don't know yeah i mean this 
we're just theoretical here, but yeah. I what what I think is more achievable than world peace is like world tolerance, because like, yeah, I might not like you, but you go do you. You know what I mean? Yeah, because because like because like to me, it's like world peace is the the equivalent of like. Oh, I love what you're doing. More power to you, spirit, whatever, whatever, you know? And like, yeah. It, it's like, everyone, the, has, the everyone has a different, sorry, everyone has like a different meaning of peace too, right? Like, right. yeah, that's true. Yeah, very, very true. So if, if you take, so, okay, I'm taking like the, the traditional yogic world peace point of view, like the, you know, that world of like kumbaya, right? And yeah. I, I don't think that's achievable. Because there no. will always be some level of like, like hate, you know, but but even if you hate something, you can still tolerate it. Yeah, yeah. I, I I think yeah I think the tolerance tolerance is like the has the same meaning for everybody, right? So yeah, exactly, exactly. It's like hate still there. Like the difference between world peace and tolerance is hate is in world pe- is in tolerance, but hate is not in world peace. Mm-hmm. You know, because because in world peace, it's essentially suggesting that you obliterate hate, but it's like you can't do that. You know. Yeah. 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 It's, uh, yeah, it's, <laughs> it's a weird world we're living in right now. It's it's it is the weirdest time. Like to be like locked down, COVID, and then to like scroll through your Instagram and you're like, dude, why is America blowing up right now? Like it's yeah, yeah, and there's no social dis- distancing with that, and uh, yeah, there is no social. <laughs> the COVID cases are going to explode after this thing, you know, or like because it was across the United States; it wasn't just one state. So that yeah. see, see, that's what like. All right, so is this unprecedented? Like when the Rodney King stuff happened, like or or the other? You said there were other riots before. Was it all over America like this, or is it just like localized in one place? No, it was all over. Oh really? Okay, so this has yeah. happened before. Yeah, we tend to forget, but yes. <laughs> yeah, that's so funny. So that we tend to forget. That's that's going to be. Uh, that's one of the young Yoda quotes I pre-created. It's like we're quick to forget because everyone, like you, just you know, we normalize everything mm-hmm. so quickly. Yeah. Even with COVID, it's like totally normalized now. It's like okay, this is this is it. Yeah. Yeah. We adapt. I guess. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes. I don't know. It'll be interesting to see what, what, like, I know we said this before in the last two podcasts, like, it'll be interesting to see what the world's like after this, but, like, it's really going to be interesting to see what the world's like after this. Yeah. 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 All right. Any, any uh, final <laughs> thoughts? Oh the 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 all right so the virus so what the mm-hmm. what the human virus is because if you're like looking at the title essentially the human virus is ideas because the idea is what propagates action so it's like racism racism's an idea you know world peace is an idea you know we're just we're fueled by ideas and these ideas are they can spread quickly you know yeah. And then yeah, destroy things and or create things. Like it's not a it's not a good or a bad thing, but no. it is yeah. it is a virus that we we do carry with us. And I think it's the only thing that because of our prefrontal cortex, no other animal does that. Cuz you don't see any other animal like building societies, you know. They might like they might live in clusters, but like to the extent that we have, you don't really see that. So it's mm-hmm. a very like human specific virus built from our prefrontal cortex. Yeah. Yeah. Unless you you go under the ocean and there's a freaking like, you know, because we, 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 you know, we still haven't freaking uh, explored the full ocean. So it's like they might have oh, cities yeah. down there, you know, you never know. The octopi. Yeah. Mermaids and stuff. Yeah. Like Aquaman's real, bro. <laughs> yeah right final thoughts I don't know no I mean yeah it's... Just, just live your life yeah. bro B- yeah. build, build a culture of tolerance 
Yeah, I I remember, even though we're ending here, but like I remember that was something that was taught to me when I was a kid. Really? In school, yeah. Tolerance. Oh, but see, okay, that's all right. So that goes back to mosaic versus um, uh, mosaic versus melting pot. Right. So like, in a mosaic country, yeah, it's all about tolerance, you know. But like, do they teach that in a melting pot society? Mm. you know right. like it's it's just ingrained in us you know like it goes back to the chaos things like when he asked like did you experience racism like no I experienced white privilege but no actual racism you know right yeah right so build a culture of tolerance and be Canadian that's that's the final takeaway yes or, or Swedish isn't Sweden like the number one spot in the world for what I like human happiness index or something like that. I don't know. Is there something about Sweden right now? Like they're like the best. Uh, uh I don't know about that. There's different fake news. Depends on fake which, news. Depends on which metric you want to talk about. <laughs> See, that's the marketing again, right? It's like, how are we going to frame the situation? Yeah. 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 All right. Till next time. Um, take it easy out there. Pick up stuff on zenrealclothingco.com and if you're going to pick stuff up use sg podcast for 20 percent off select items or if you want something for free go listen to the zen real radio all available at zenrealclothingco.com take it easy fish yep please Peace.